This is your future Houston chiropractor, Tristan Went, And today I wanted to talk a little bit of a self-home myofascial release. Uh, some things that I like to use and things I've learned in the past from uh, my previous history being a collegiate athlete. Um, so the main principle behind myofascial release is to help relax tight muscles because this can sometimes cause pain for people who work a lot uh, sitting or standing throughout the day. But today I wanted to talk about what I use at home to help with my myofascial release work. Um, so primarily I use this softball. Um, I am a little bit bigger than your average person, so it takes a little bit bigger of an object to help uh, to get to those deeper muscles, a lot of times in the glute. Um, so this is what I use primarily all over, but for somebody of a more average size, a uh, baseball, uh, lacrosse ball maybe, um, I, a tennis ball maybe, but they can be a little bit too soft and they can't uh, get down to your deeper, deeper piriformis muscles, stuff like that. Um, even for somebody of, of a smaller stature, maybe even a golf ball could work, uh, something like that. But I primarily use a softball just because I am a little bit bigger. And one of the biggest keys throughout my athletic career and when I was having issues with my back before I met Dr. Johnson, um, a softball really helped release a lot of tension in my parafor piriformis muscle, which uh, the sciatic nerve runs underneath that. And so when you get some tautness in that muscle, that's what can also create some pressure and pain down the leg. So I found it to be helpful, but not what I was looking for when I got those adjustments from Dr. Johnson. Um, so I can demonstrate my piriformis myofascial release that I used to do as a student athlete, um, but this is a technique you can use on any soft tissue muscle in your body, uh, shoulders, traps, um, along the sides of your spine. Um, I would highly recommend to stay off of bone because that really hurts as you'll find if you do it wrong um, but the more you do it the more you'll get relaxed and you'll find those spots that you think that you could need to hit a little bit more you don't need to hit as much just to help uh, relax those tight muscles um, so I'll go, I'll go ahead and get on the ground here and show you guys how I do my piriformis myofascial release so first off you'll have to excuse my dog he likes to think this is his ball even though he has his own over there um, but how I like to set up is I've gotten used to doing this on a hard floor, but uh, you can also use carpet or linoleum or anything you have in your house. But for my piriformis, it's more on the lateral aspect of your glute, so more towards the outside here. And I, I know exactly where to hit for me because I know exactly where that tautness is, the tight muscle, the piriformis. But it's uh, more of a feel thing. As long as you're staying off of hard bone and staying in soft tissue, you can uh, just search around, kind of you'll feel when it gets to a tight spot because that's when the pain will shoot up. And uh, you want to take it easy at first and kind of let, let that muscle relax onto the ball. And let it kind of like sink into your body. And so that's how you'll know that the Golgi tendon in the muscle, which controls the tonicity of that muscle, starts to, re <laughs> starts to relax. And hello. Hi. Say hey to the camera. So I'll take the ball and put it directly on my piriformis muscle where I feel the, where I feel the tightness. And I'll use one leg to kind of support myself and move around while I let this one relax. And then I'll use this off arm to kind of just move back and forth and really find where that tight spot is. And when I find it, you can kind of just sit there and slowly sink down onto the ball and you'll kind of feel that muscle melting below it. It is a little bit painful, but Again, it'll help uh, release that Golgi tendon, which controls the tonicity of the muscle. So once I feel that muscle kind of relaxing, I'll move to a new spot, kind of move around, see where it's tight. And then again, just relax and try to breathe and let that muscle relax onto the ball and kind of shape around it. Gatsby's very interested. <laughs> But this was a tool I found very helpful as a student athlete because I could do it before practice or before a game, or before workouts to help release that muscle and relax before I go into competition. Um, so I hope this video helped. I gotta go play with Gatsby now because he wants to play with his ball. But this is your future Houston chiropractor, Tristan Went. I hope this video helped y'all out and we'll see y'all soon.